Hey, I find myself in a pickle today. It's a fried pickle challenge. Stick around, we're gonna see what happens, ain't we, sugar? So you know your way around the kitchen pretty good? Yes. And have you been in a lot of these challenges? No. Huh. I've heard you were really excelled in the field of fried pickling. Yes. Uh, how'd this come about? I asked for a fryer for Christmas and then my dad taught me how to make fried pickles. You know, I, I'm very proud of you because there's so many young folks that are your age or younger that would probably ask for an Xbox or something like that. And for you to ask for a deep fryer, you my kind of woman, girl. You know what I mean? You brought your own cheering section over here, right? Mm-hmm. Haley, and then Kaylee Joe, and then Bailey. Do they cook also? Um, the middle one does not. The she just burns. <laughs> <laughs> she burns stuff. She burns stuff. I've been chopped. I've been in a throwdown with Bobby Flay. I've been in Cutthroat Kitchen, but I've never been in a pickle challenge. Are you ready to do it? Yes. Let's do it, girl. Get after it. I picked these fresh from the garden this morning. Pickled them in my spare time. I would rather have a long fried pickle as the chips, wouldn't you? Now, you no. like the chips? Oh, I can already tell there's going to be trouble. Why do you like these pickles? I don't know. Like, because they're not too sweet. I just like them like that. She's tried sweet ones, just a lot of pickles, and then she's tried different flavors. Do you think she's a pretty good match for Kent? Oh, yeah. Amazing. We're using cornstarch. Well, if you've never had an egg and you need something to take its place, cornstarch will do it. Since my hens didn't lay but one today, but we'll also use a little baking powder for a little jump and a little powdered buttermilk. And we're gonna let them sit there and soak up some of that love. And then we're gonna go to putting them in a little flour that's got the original seasoning mixed in it. After you double dip them, we're gonna put a little cornmeal on them after that. Hey, right, coming along there, sugar. Doing good. Feeling good about it? Mm-hmm. eggs and then there is breadcrumbs and my seasoning and then there's just flour. I'm going to get two paper towels and then press them on the pickles so it will take some of the pickle juice out. And what temperature do you like to fry it? At 375. Oh well, my gosh, this girl does know her way around the deep fryer. 375. Now you're barefoot. Is this like a... I just like to be comfortable when I cook. That is a Texas thing. And I've learned from past experiences, I have to cook plenty because I might burn some and then I can see which one I want to give to the judges. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They look like chicken fingers. <laughs> hey, me and the beagle probably like them better if they got some meat in them. Mixed up a little special dressing. And then we're just going to drizzle some right over the top. Time running out, sugar. Are you about, are you about finished? Yes. Over there? Three, two, one. Hands up. Time. Wait, honey, time is up, sugar. <laughs> Whoa. How do you feel? Good. Okay. They look really good, know what I mean? They are good. What do you think about them? I don't know. You don't know, huh? It's been a pleasure, sweetheart. It has. It's long now, and it's time to judge, and it is. And I'd like to introduce these great celebrity judges that we may be the father of our contestant here to my left. Okay. We'll find out who has the best fried pickle today. Heath is also known as a best-selling author of the Perfect Pickle Hunting Guide.
My wife, Shannon, a chuck wagon cook, a businesswoman, a beagle lover, she comes to pickle the best one out here. You may remember our next judge from his big win in the breakfast burrito challenge, Spam and Egg and Cheese. Welcome back, Burrito Breakfast Challenge champion, my grandson, Caden. Come on in the arena, brother, with his championship belt. So, you finished your fried pickle challenge, so we're ready to taste the results. Uh, Shaylee, let's go first. Give us your fried pickle presentation. There's my pickles. They have flour, eggs, and um, breadcrumbs. Wow, that's a really mm. good crust. What do you think about the pickle? Fantastic. <laughs> wow. I'm not a big deal pickle fan, but they're not real overpowering. I have you a fried pickle spear. It will have a crunch, might break a tooth. Thank you, Chef Kent. Yes, thank you, honey. You can step away from the table. <laughs> oh my gosh. Back away. Definitely has a crunch. The sauce is very different. It's good. You like the, the sauce? Sauces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try it by itself. See what you think. It's got a little sweet. Is it like a honey? What's your favorite part of this? The sauce. Do you? I like the sauce. I like the sauce the best. Mm -hmm. So, contestants, please remove yourselves, and the judges will debate. The first one was way better than the second one. Like, but the sauce was way better than the first one. The second one. Normally, like a spear because it's a little different. But the problem was, I don't think it was the right pickle. Like, it had kind of a mushy taste, and I think maybe if he'd used a different brand of pickle, it would have been a little crispier. Shannon's always done the cornmeal, but she's switched to breadcrumbs, and now I'm a fan of breadcrumbs. I'm kind of because kind of, do you like that. I don't, but the sauce. You like the sauce on this that one, and you like the sauce. sauce on this one better. Yeah. Well, given that, I think, do we know our winner? It was a really good challenge. Both of you executed really well. We did, however, like Shaylee's crust a little more. We liked the addition of the breadcrumb versus the cornmeal. However, we loved the sauce, Kent, that you used. In fact, Caden, who is not a big sauce person, loved your sauce. The winner is Shaylee. Oh Shaylee, we love. Raise that hand up, girl. There you go. Learn from the pickle queen. You get them great old big pickles that come in that jar, which are crispy. Yes, that was. Because I it. tasted hers, and yep. honey, you yep. might go to work for me. You know what I mean? I felt pretty good. I doubted myself at first. Dad, when he ate something good, he nodded. He nods his head. He didn't nod his head when he ate mine. So I got. I got a little bit scared. What What do you think is the next dish you're gonna cook? Um, probably fried Oreos or fried onion rings. I think what she had me on today is she knew what pickles to buy. You see, I just went to the store and just picked up some dill pickles. It was an honor to compete against her, and I'm proud that she won. I am. We hope y'all enjoyed the Pickle Palooza Fried Pickle Challenge today. It was a blast. It was, and uh, we appreciate y'all watching. We're so proud of. Uh, of all the subscribers we have, all the people that visit our YouTube page. Hit that little subscribe button there. Uh, we've always got something going on. God bless you each and every one and hope you have a great evening.